guys, welcome to Agadi and me with me being Agadi and guess me in the main part because you guys are joining me on this journey called life and today in life I am going through my six week postpartum well yeah six week postpartum checkup um it is now the 22nd of May so it's a little bit past six weeks but it's okay it's all right um yeah so I actually did get stitches and then I had some stitches like on the side, you know, on the actual sensitive levels. But I don't know if it's me, if it's the Lord or protecting me from pain, but I just don't, I just, I don't know, stitches don't do it for me. I just don't feel them. I only feel the actual stitch. I don't feel the pain. So I actually saw it on the mirror. I bet. I don't know why I asked for a mirror when they were like taking oh, taking out my placenta and they were stitching me out, but I wasn't thinking about the mirror when I was giving birth. So that's how you that's what happens. That's how you have to inform your partner to remind you about the mirror. Um. Anyways, but he took a picture. He took a picture of my of my amniotic sac with my baby inside still so that's enough I guess for now <laughs> I can try to imagine the rest even though I didn't see it but yeah we're going to go I'm actually going pretty far away it's like 40 minutes away so we have to come a little earlier and we're actually running a little late so hopefully we're not actually running late right because I don't think there's that much traffic we'll see we'll see yeah we'll see but we only could bring a little baby over there and oh, Brian because he carries a little baby over there and that's because I have to be feeding her because I'm exclusively breastfeeding but my little baby he wanted to come he was so sad but our OB doesn't actually allow like kids in their office so we can take him or we can't take him every time we go so yeah he, he was pretty sad about it but what are we gonna do? We just gotta get out of the house and just go. Pretend he's not crying. Well, cause he wasn't, he was watching TV. But he did cry. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. Especially the weigh-in. I weighed myself a way, uh, week after. And I was 172. That was less than my pre-pregnancy. So pre-pregnancy, I was like 174, 176, something like that. And then, um, so it's not that much, but still, one week after I was 172. I guess, what do you guess, babe? Your weight? Yeah. 152. I didn't lose weight. So, no. Why'd you guess that? Because he doesn't want to say how we look chubby. Anyways, I guess 178 to... Our doctor, what is our clinic, or what is it, a hospital? It's an actual hospital, no? Uh huh. Mm. Ta da! Super fancy. It's compared to like my other doctor. This is super fancy, a big upgrade. Right? Mm hmm. And we actually paid for the last one. Because uh -huh. I didn't have Medi Cal, I had um, Disney insurance, like Disney health insurance. And this one's like Medi Cal. My Disney health insurance? I don't know. Interesting, huh?
All right, we're out, and now we're actually recording. That's it, baby. Your hitch is big. Mm. How'd it go? Was it painful? Yes, it was. I got a pap smear. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> How did it feel? I was violated. Hmm. Anyways, so yeah, I actually did get a pap smear today. It was. I don't think painful. even I was supposed to get it. It was pretty painful compared to other ones I've had. So I don't know. Maybe she's just very good at it, or I don't know what happened. But oh, well, we have to go stop. I guess I need to eat so I can feed Emma. Because our drive is like a 30, 40 minute drive and she cannot. Well, she probably can, but she'll start crying eventually. Because she already did a drive. Been here for a while. It's going to be her food time. Hi, Daddy. She's like, I want to make a D's. I'm like, those cheeks aren't there for no reason. She said I was perfectly healed. Or she said I was all healed. Should we believe her? I don't know. Um, so like I said, I did get stitches. I got stitches last time too, but last time I wasn't healed. Last time that he said, uh, give it another four weeks. Uh, and I said, yes, yes doctor, because it doesn't feel healed. Um, I felt the stitches still there, they were bugging. Um, she said no restrictions because I asked her like what kind of exercises can I do and she said whatever you want and She said then, squats girl squats Every day mm. And what else did she say? Oh, no, we were gonna that's pretty much all she said And she said my she kid said was no cute fast food for and you, she was girl? big and then she had a lot of hair huh. And then um that um What was he saying? Oh my goodness, mom brain <laughs> Small so brain? And what's it? Can you, can you keep distracting me? That's why you can't get on a sentence. And I was gonna say, do you want to make an actual legitimate guess on how much I weighed? Yes. Hmm. I mean, no. Oh, what, what, what's your guess? 172. Hmm. Anyway, so I gained nine pounds. I'm 181. I was 172 the first week that I gave birth and then um, I'm back to my um, pre-workout weight before I started working out with Emma. You worked well, out? Before, Daddy! Before I started working out like because I wanted to be healthier for when I got pregnant so I kind of lost like well, I think it was the highest, like 189, and then I went 185, 181. You know, got down to 174, so whatever. So I did lose like 10 pounds. Not that it's only like 10 pounds. But I mean, after this, um, I was 180. So, yeah. With him, I only got up to 189. With him, I got up to 191. But yeah, so my goal is going to be to at least get down to 160. 160 but I'm breastfeeding so I honestly probably won't put it on how much weight I lose because I wouldn't mind gaining muscle because I was doing some more um no I wasn't <laughs> well I was just doing more like like um body weight workouts and stuff like that so I understand weight doesn't really determine so I'm just gonna go off of like how I feel and how much less jiggly my stomach is and how much and, like how less big it is and gonna try to get back to my push-ups every day and and lifting I was doing push-ups I wasn't even lifting how am I gonna get back to lifting again and um, what else that's it oh I'm gonna be doing v-shred so yeah big secret top secret I am a gatekeeper but I'll tell you <laughs> I do v-shred <laughs> well I just bought it and I just liked it because it, he just told you what to do every day and it was and it was um you see he's gonna take me to eat I was gonna say wasabi he's gonna take me to go eat uh, canes for my last meal fast food just kidding we got two children you know we eat fast food <laughs> you just 
be honest, Arby. You know I like cooking. And if it is, it's Mexican food. Mexican food's fat. Well, no, I, I don't be cooking. <laughs> well, I made uh, a tuna salad the other day. So, that's healthy. It just has a lot of mayo, and you just eat it with tostadas. But if you just eat two tostadas, and not four or five, it's good. What do you want? Hey, 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 I want some chicken today with dessert today. Can I get the sandwich combo? Sandwich combo for the drinks? Dr. Pepper. Are we anything else for you today? I take it too. I take a sandwich. Another chicken sandwich? Just a sandwich? Just a sandwich by itself? Yes, please. Is that the all? That would be all. Alright, sandwich combo is Dr. Pepper and the sandwich by itself. It's going to be nice to take seven at the last one, okay? Thank, Thank you. you. We haven't eaten cane since Mother's Day when we had a buffet. <laughs> it's crazy when you have a buffet, you just eat so much chicken. You didn't even know you can fit in your stomach. You see, she's hungry. I am. So, Brian just told me that, um, that, what are we doing? Let me drink some of this delicious Dr. Pepper. From Cane's, from this specific one in Mission Viejo. Here you go. You're all awesome. uh, Do you want to get ketchup? Uh, hot sauce. Oh, wait. It's already in there. Oh, right. thank you. Alright, are you all set? Right. Right. Bro, bro did it. He better not have put one. Well, you can get down and get another what? one. What? I ain't got that one. Whatever. Well, you have to get down to give me a money. What am I, a peasant? Uh, At least there's shade everywhere today. <laughs> oh, right next to this tree. Perfect. We can get shade. Okay. Yep, feels really shady to me. Oh, Brian was saying that today we're gonna go see um, a, a town home that we've been looking at. That we want to do. We want to do. That we want to get. So I guess we're going there. My son's gonna be missing me, but I guess he don't care about that. No. Oh, I'm not going in that deep. I don't hear nothing. Yeah, you usually don't. Especially when you're asleep. Let's get Emma. <coughs> no. Wow, we finally figured out how to put our phone. <laughs> wow, the <laughs> Mug bank. I can't see my food. What one? Don't put her face with that. The one you eat, none of her fries. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're salty today. I don't know what it is. The sandwich is so delicious. Want some? What's it safe with her head? <laughs> If the was here, he'd be like, I'm coming through. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. Alright, look, I'm eating. I am. <laughs> My secret is I can eat too. Mm. Okay. Oh yeah, because you ate mine. Mm -hmm. I guess she can eat too. I ate it for dinner. I didn't even eat it at the same time. No, no, no. You ate too. He likes to save food and he doesn't want to share it and he won't eat it. <laughs> My ribs hurt. I want to get that checked out too. Ever since Emma, she like messed up my ribs and they hurt. <laughs> okay, so this is uh, something we can share. When we were brokies, we were brokies. 
Yeah. We only had like, after like making all our money a month, we would be left over after paying bills, like a hundred or three hundred dollars a, a month. Or we, good. Or we had left over. That's with like not going out or anything. But things were cheaper, remember? We used to get two full pizzas for like nine ninety nine. So that's, that's what we used to eat. We used to eat whatever was cheapest. Two whole pizzas. Look, you're so dramatic. I never knew I was broke. I just knew I was eating good. <laughs> you went from super broke to like broke and you thought that was an improvement. <laughs> See, it's just because um, money doesn't make me happy. Things do. <laughs> so if I don't have money but I have things, I'm really happy. And I had an apartment, I had a puppy, I had food. Let me fix your head. I had my own car. Oh, so now you're mad because we're sharing a car? No, because you're you, Is that your secret? Is that what you wanted to expose me? Just, you wanted to expose me like that? Yeah, he broke my car. <laughs> he burnt it down. Yeah. Mm -mm. Then he broke his car. Now I had to buy a new car. You have no secret? I still have a whole other chicken turn though. Put it in my burger. No, I took it out because I like to eat it soberly. You don't want to donate that to me? Um, you... I'll donate it to you if you donate me your sandwich. Can you put the hot sauce on my sandwich? Rude. If I were you, I'd be like, you could put my hot sauce first and you can take a drink after. I'm sorry. But you see, I have an issue. I was going to give birth. Am I constantly hungry? Like, I always want more food. Like, all the time. And specifically after Emma, I want her like sweet things. Right now I don't want it because I have soda. Like I want her like brownies, candy, chocolate, and, you know, a chocolatito, you know, like which is like chocolate milk, right? Chocolate milk. <laughs> More hot sauce. Because I'm kicking the little thing too. <laughs> mm. Look at it, it's like real chicken, it's so delicious. What part of the chicken? I don't know, maybe a chicken bus. The sandwich is just delicious. And the little ones. Crunchy. You're like healthy. <laughs> salad vibes. Chicken salad vibes. I guess I'll just get the cup. Because we're like literally in the middle of parking. And this shirt doesn't have like the flap over, so once we take it out. She be flying. 